20% of you guys use captions when watching my videos. It's more than you think. And as you can see here, I have captions on screen and it's all being done live within OBS. These ones here are burned into the video, but you can also make them a toggle so that your viewers have the option to turn them off. It turns out Twitch has a hidden closed caption button on everybody's stream, but nobody knows about it because you actually have to send your captions over to Twitch and you guys don't know how to do that until you watch this video. Stop being cringe and paying full price for Windows with our sponsor, VIP SD Keys. You can get a Windows 11 license for as low as $21. Just use my code NUTTY at checkout to get them for 30% off. And if you want to get them for a little bit cheaper, you can get a Windows 10 key for $15, and those can be updated to Windows 11 completely for free. You can pay using a secure payment method like PayPal. They'll send you an activation code immediately, and then you can put that in your Windows settings, and you're good to go. Check out VIP SD Keys in the link down below. So for this, you're gonna need the closed captioning plugin. I'll leave that link down below, but just click in the link there and go to download. It's gonna take you to GitHub, then go over to the latest version. And for whatever platform you're on, I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna get the uh, closed caption Windows zip file. And then just go to your OBS installation folder, which in my case is in the C directory under program files, go to OBS studio and then grab that zip file and open it up. And literally you just go into this folder here and you see where it says OBS plugins, just drag that right over the top of your OBS folder and then continue. If you install it correctly, you can just go up into tools and you should see cloud closed captions. If you don't see this option here, you did something wrong, okay? I just, I literally did it here. It should just work for you. But uh, if you want it to work, you just uh, click on closed captions, turn on captioning. So go captioning enabled, and then also go into your settings and whatever is your mic in OBS, you need to set that as your caption source. So caption source, just set this to uh, mic aux and then click save. And if everything works, you should see your, your output, your captions are just appearing in this little preview window. And that's really all you need to do. Now, if you start streaming, you should see that CC button on the bottom right of your Twitch player and all of your audience can just click in that button if they want to see the captions. Totally optional, so if they don't want to see it, they don't have to turn it on, but it just gives them the option to see the captions if they if they need them. You should also notice that there is an extra dock in OBS. If you don't see that, click on docs and just turn on captions, but you'll see a little dock here which will show you a little preview of everything that you're saying. So if you want to like test out just so you can see how good the captions are. As you can see, like, I think it's pretty good. It just uses Google's services or Google's API, and uh, it's pretty much real time. There are some other settings that I'd recommend looking at, so go back into closed captions and into the settings. Uh, if it doesn't say stream only here, by the way, make sure it says stream only, but basically this will output all of your captions to your Twitch stream so that your viewer, so you'll get that CC button. But also, uh, if you want to turn on the profanity filter, if you like to say come a lot, you can turn that on. I like to say that word, so we're just going to leave that off. Uh, also, change, don't change the lines, actually. Leave that at three. But if you want to add punctuation, like periods at the end of your sentences, uh, you can just turn on punctuation here. And then you can also adjust the timeout. So the timeout is when you stop talking for a certain number of seconds, the captions will go away. So if I just like set this to one, and save that. Look at the preview here. When I stop talking, after one second, all of that goes away. Now, if you'd prefer, you could also burn the captions into the actual video, kind of like what you saw at the start of this video. Those are called open captions. Closed captions are when your viewers have the option to disable the captions, which I think is what most people want. But if you want open captions, captions that are burned into the video, you can set that up too. And the way that works is you can go into tools, close captions, settings, and then in the open captions tab, you can add a text output. And basically the way this works is you can add a text source into OBS and all of the words that you're saying will be pasted into that text source. So let's just close this and add a new text source. So right click, add text GDI, 
And then let's just call this captions. And we'll leave everything here at default for now. Okay. And then we'll come back into the closed caption settings. And then under open captions, add text output. And then under text source, we're going to select the captions source that we just created and then save that and it should work immediately. So everything that we're saying is getting saved directly into this uh, text source, which is freaking massive, by the way. I don't know why that is, but uh, yeah, everything I'm saying is, is now burned into the video. Now, these captions don't look very nice, so it's important that if you are going to burn the captions into your video, you want your audience to actually be able to read it. So one of the changes I'm going to make immediately here is I'm going to actually right click the text source, transform, and I'm going to set the positional alignment to center. So that way the text uh, grows from the center. I also want to actually center the text. You can see it's actually, it's left justified right now. So I'm gonna go into the properties of the text source and down next to alignment, we're gonna set this to center and also vertical alignment. We're gonna set this to center as well. So, oh, I set it to right center. So now, now we have this uh, actually, we're gonna put it right here and then Right click, edit, transform. Oops, I lied. Right click, transform, center horizontally. And so now you can see the captions are actually centered on the screen, which is important for my OCD. I would also recommend that you don't mess with the fonts too much. Just stick with a regular serif font like Arial, like it is by default. It's boring, but again, if we're trying to maximize readability and accessibility, you wanna use a font like Arial because that's been hyper optimized for reading. In broadcast, they typically use yellow for captions. And the reason they do that is because yellow is very easy to read against a variety of backgrounds. I just made that up, but it sounds smart. So we're just gonna go with it. Uh, I typically like to use this specific shade of yellow for captions because I think it looks the best. So you, could, you can copy these settings if you want. So just paste that in there. I also like to put a uh, black outline. So you can enable outline. And I set this to about eight and make it black. And I, I think that looks pretty easy to read here. Uh, if it still isn't easy to read for you, what you can do is you could right click this and go under background opacity. You could set this to around 80. So that adds like a little opaque background to make the text even easier to read. But overall, I think this right here is a really good setting to use for burned in captions if you want to do that. If you're not a streamer, I don't know why you watched this video, but feel free to send this to your friends that are streamers and let them know, hey, you should put captions in. Every streamer should have captions in the stream. It only adds to the viewer experience and it's really easy to do. There's really no reason not to do it. Anyway, uh, yeah, give me a sub. You're stuck with me now. You have to watch all of my other videos because I am a YouTuber and I said you have to.